Let's go live to Victoria now because Daniel Andrews has a few things to sort out in his leadership team. We're seeing four resignations today. Two have just been confirmed. Our Victorian political reporter Simon Love joins us now. Simon, all four have actually just confirmed they're moving on. They certainly have, Laura. Four separate statements from four Andrews government ministers. Four separate reactions from the Premier Daniel Andrews have just been issued. And all the news that we've been reporting pretty much in the last 12 hours has been confirmed. But these are the details. I will start with the Deputy Premier, James Molino. He has released a statement confirming that he will not contest the next election as the member for Mombolk. He will step down as Deputy Premier and it is also understood that he will play a big role in the Andrews government's hopes of being re-elected, uh, particularly with the Labor Party. Moving now to the Health Minister, Martin Foley. He's indicated in a statement that he will not be contesting the seat of Albert Park. Martin Foley will step down as a Cabinet Minister. Uh, it's, in, it's believed this will happen quite soon, so Daniel Andrews will have to choose a successor in the Health Ministry, meaning four Health Ministers in recent uh, memory. Particularly, you'll remember, Laura, two years ago, Jenny McCarkos was the last Health Minister, uh, given that she also resigned from the Andrews Ministry. And a number of ministers in the Andrews Ministry have left since 2018, going all the way back to Jane Garrett, uh, who left amid a, 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 amid a spat over uh, the firefighters' uh, union deal. Now, if I move now to Martin Pakula, the Minister for Jobs, Tourism, Trade, major, major Events, Sport, effectively known here on Spring Street as the Minister for Fun, he's indicated, given that his seat of Keysborough will not be uh, a seat at the next November, at the next state election, he will not contest uh, the slot in the upper house, which the Labor Party left open for him. He will then, uh, he will step down as soon as a successor is chosen for his portfolios. And then moving to, I believe, Lisa Neville is probably the next one to mention. The police minister herself, she's been battling health issues for the past few years, particularly the condition of Crohn's disease. She took some time away from that. Um, all four of these ministers have released lengthy statements talking about their achievements in the Andrews government. Lisa Neville, particularly on reforms for the police and tough times there with the Eastern Freeway tragedy. Lisa Neville will not contest November's election as the member for Ballerine uh, or the Labor candidate. She will, though, remain Police Minister Laura until November. A very interesting thing. It means that there won't be, uh, that at least the Andrews government, in a very key portfolio of police, will be able to continue continuity right up to that uh, caretaker period, which begins on November the 1st. Now, the Premier has paid tribute to all of these Cabinet ministers, but the ultimate question now, Laura, is. Who will replace these ministers? Many names have been tossed around, many speculation, a lot of speculation too, about whether this could indicate who could become the next Premier after Daniel Andrews. We've certainly seen him come back from sick leave uh, in, in, recent, uh, you know, in recent years and, and, and in, in intend to fight on. But he won't have his deputy there. He won't have three other key ministers that were in right. the crisis cabinet here in Victoria. So fascinating uh, events going on down here. We still don't know if there'll be a news conference uh, for, for certain as well, Laura. I expect there will be sometime this mid-morning. OK. All right. Well, we'll look out for that. A few questions we've got to ask him. Thanks so much, Simon. Appreciate it.